Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about regression testing, including what it is, when to do it, its significance, and how to conduct it effectively. I'll also share some practical examples and compare it with some terms it may be mistaken for. Let's get into it. What is regression testing? Regression testing is testing existing software applications to make sure that a change or addition hasn't broken any existing functionality. When should you do regression testing? Well, the textbook answer is whenever there is a change of some kind, for example, a new feature, a new bug, or an update. But in reality, well, we would need to expand a bit on this definition. So yes, you're supposed to do it whenever there is some sort of change, as stated, a new feature, bug, or some sort of update. But then the amount of regression testing done can depend on the amount of risk you see. In essence, regression testing is supposed to act as some some sort of safety net against unintended side effects of, of these changes. Why is regression testing important? Because you want to make sure that your changes haven't inadvertently affected something else. While you may like to think that what you've changed, for example, a bug fix or a new feature, will only change what you intend it to, that is, you've only affixed the bug, or you've only added the new feature and everything else is untouched, people perform regression testing to make sure that this is actually the case. Because sometimes the way, say, code is written or things interact, you may be inadvertently affecting something else. How to do regression testing? Well, first, you need to determine which tests will be part of your regression suite. And then you'll choose tests that are part of your critical path and or areas that have a higher risk of breaking. Now, you have some options. Your first option is to select a subset of your test cases and then put them in a regression test suite to be run manually or by a human. Your second option is to select a subset of your test cases and then automate them. And now your third option is to come up with a regression test suite that you feel best covers the risks and needs of your project. So that is your starting point isn't a set or suite of existing uh, test cases from, say, your uh, test case management tool, but your starting point would be um, you coming up with them specifically for the purpose uh, of creating a regression test suite. Now, here is some advice for regression testing. First, I suggest that you remind stakeholders that automated regression tests will only find changes based on what you program it to expect. You are checking that things remain the same based on what you explicitly say. For example, if your test is only looking for an element on the page, it may not be looking for the position of the element. So if the element moves to a strange location, then the test will still pass. Two. Regression test suites should be updated as your project progresses. As you add new features, make changes, etc., then chances are your regression test suite needs to be updated. And lastly, regression test suites do not guarantee that you haven't broken anything. Realistically, you are not going to have a test for every single possible scenario. You should, however, have good coverage and prioritize areas or flows with the highest risk and you believe are most important. It's common for regression testing to be confused with other terms. Let's clarify these distinctions by comparing it with two terms you may mistake it for. First, let's start with retesting. So retesting is focused on checking that 
a bug has actually been fixed. So what you would do is you'd open, I know you like look at the bug and the bug tracking tool and see, okay, what exactly is the problem? And then when a developer says, oh, it's been fixed, you would then verify it's been fixed uh, based on hopefully the steps to reproduce. So uh, assuming the steps to reproduce have been provided, you would check that, that the bug is no longer there. Uh, so the clear distinction here would be retesting is focused on a bug or that has been fixed. And regression is, um, you would maybe be doing that as well, is checking that that bug fix did not inadvertently affect something else. The second term that regression testing may be mistaken for is smoke testing. So smoke testing is done uh, when you first receive some sort of build. First, you're wanting to look and see if this build is worth testing more deeply. So you say, say with smoke, it's like seeing, you know, if there's smoke, there's fire. Is this build like actually worth your time? So you're going to do a few um you may say shallow tests almost to check is the build stable. Uh, so the, the difference here between say smoke testing and regression testing uh, is when you are likely to do it. So smoke testing, you're receiving a new build, um, checking that it's stable enough for more detailed testing. Regression testing is when there is some sort of change. Now that's all we have for regression testing. Uh, if you have any questions, then please post in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.